Well then, looks like a look, blah, blah, sentence. Look at what is happening again. That's right, it's the revenge of the return of the classic Advent Christmas thing. And man, like, is it weird to say that I don't know, like earlier this year, uh, before Susie contacted me at the end of summer to say that this was happening, is it strange that I thought that 2022 was the year where it wouldn't happen anymore? But I was proven wrong. There's a whole bunch of gift and also there's gonna be a lot digital from what I heard. But no, yeah, here we are, end of November. There's a whole bunch of little boxes and bags and just a whole bunch of good stuff waiting for me. And I, I just don't know really what to think about it anymore. 2022 was an odd year, I feel like. It was day zero. This counts as day zero. Technically, it's like minus one. Uh, yeah, like, I feel like 2022 was a, was a strange year. For my channel, I feel like I fully escaped the wrath of, like, the Marios. Like, yeah, I just played Mario Galaxy, but I played two ROM hacks, one of which was Lakitu's Adventure, and the other one was, uh, which was uh, Rekuguki, which, you know, alas, we all saw what, how, well, how well that happened. I mean, to be fair, I feel like every vote had had, almost every vote had had a ROM hack in it, but... They don't win vote, they don't win polls. And, see the thing is, I thought I would jump in. And in my own personal block where I choose games, I thought I would go out of my way to choose ROM hacks more often to kind of keep that beat going. But the reality is, I didn't. I am very comfortable what happened. So, yeah, like, I think I realize that 2022 is just to me, at the very least, a year of change. And uh, I think mostly for the good. To everyone out there who's watching this, I just want to say thank you for being there. Thank you for just being there. Just, you know, watching a series once in a while. Just to make sure that while I'm shouting at the void, you know, knowing that there's going to be an ear in there interpreting those shouts is very meaningful and uh yeah i don't know every time i see these boxes line up like that i i do get a little bit emotional like i, I can't help it you know big old imposter syndrome kind of kicks in sometimes oh my voice my voice <laughs> <coughs> sorry very very sorry about that yeah, I'm so, like, I feel like I would be able to record normally, but I'm gonna give today also. And I, but I hope that tom tomorrow I can resume, um, normal programming. But hey, I got a letter. Where's the can? This is my first time I'm using this phone for recording. I got this summer, so getting used to things. Merry Christmas, Rao Cow. Susie here. Can you believe it? The Christmas Advent Box is back and better than... Uh, okay, that's not really true. But we are back! It feels a bit weird to be sending a box after all this time. It's been so long, I nearly forgot all the work that goes into these things. LOL. Thankfully, we had a lot of enthusiastic contributors again this year, and none of this would be possible without them. This is true. I feel like this is just like... a celebration of the community, more than anything. As always, a bunch of us decided to give a little something back to you this Christmas as thanks for all the wonderful content you've made this year. This all the Sonic content, JK, JK. Uh, on the second page, there's a list of all the gift givers for each day. Every present should be labeled in a way that it's easy to find. Digital gifts may be through Steam or TalkHouse direct messages, but everything should be set in decent time for recording. We hope that you had a wonderful 2022, and we're all looking forward to your projects next year. Hope you have a safe and wonderful Christmas and New Year! The Void. Well, thank you for writing these nice words. Might as well. This is what it else looks like. It's kind of blurry. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. I was told that uh, there would be changes to that list, so... 
All right. Oh man, I don't know. Like it, I just kind of feel speechless more often than not when this happens. Like, like, uh, so the last two years, the digital events, which were like video games in themselves, like they felt like events. You know, like something was going on, and it was like it felt like a big thing. But honestly, I think having things very simple. And very low key is what everyone needs this year. And I'm v genuinely very happy for that. Uh, worth saying that for the advent this year, I do not expect to sacrifice one of the normal video slots. Like, I'm, I'm planning on running all three games I am with this as a little addition. If ever someone sent me a digital gift that requires basically a regular recording session uh in that case if i have to sacrifice a slot it's gonna be mega man so the truth is out there assuming everyone watches this uh you will not be surprised i don't know how to end this i mean do i have to end this i mean that's a good question